Welcome to the first impressions review video of Dead Island 2. I'm not going to go into the storyline here, so do not worry. This is a disclaimer that there's going to be no spoilers in the story, but I'm going to talk about some features in the game. So if you don't want to hear about that, skip the conclusion part by clicking the section on the timeline below. This video is going to be split up into three sections. One is going to be the combat. Next is going to be pace. And then the third is going to be the concept of the game. And then fourth will be the conclusion and the final score I give this game. Now, I've been hands-on with the game for about a week now since it's released. I haven't played exponentially loads of game time. I've actually only just got into the first couple of sections of the storyline. So I've got enough knowledge to know certain things about the weapons, the combat, like I said, the pace and the concept of the game. So I'm going to give you a first impressions and hopefully this will sway your decision if you actually want to buy Dead Island 2 or maybe you want to give it a miss. So first I'm going to talk about the combat and let me just say this. It is amazing to finally see a game producer or developer or studio finally looking into the gruesomeness of when you hit a zombie with a weapon. It is so satisfying to hit a zombie round the head, an arm, a leg, wherever it may be on the body and see their body open up, their jaw come off, their leg come off, it get twisted, broken, whatever, and the zombie actually react in that way from where they've been hit. So if their leg's been chopped, boom, they fall on the floor. If their arm's been hit, boom, they can't swipe that arm anymore. If they've jaws been hit off, then they go, oh crap, my jaw's been hit off. But they carry on anyway because they're a zombie and they have really no feelings. The next thing is, of course, the weapons. The weapons are very good and there is some good weapons and there's some bad weapons. But that's something you can discover for yourself. There are fast swinging weapons and there are slow swinging weapons. Of course, slow swinging weapons in every other game are the heavier weapons that deal more damage. And the slow swinging weapons obviously deal less damage but are much more quicker to get a lot more attacks in. And that's pretty much how this game works as well. So in regards to the combat, this is a very vanilla style combat engine, but there is so much more added features is in the gruesomeness and then also the customization of those weapons. But let's not forget the absolute amazing feature that you can drop kick zombies into oblivion in this game, which are so, so satisfying. I'm going to rate combat a good 7 out of 10. The reason why I'm rating it 7 out of 10 is because I feel it's very vanilla, but I also feel that it has a very good concept for what the purpose of the game is for, and it's solely to kill zombies. So that's why it's a 7 out of 10 for me. Next, we move on to the pace of the game. So the pace of the game for a standard zombie game is pretty normal. I wouldn't say it's overpowering, but pretty much when you're in a safe zone, you have nothing to really worry about. All you have to do is upgrade your stuff, grab your weapons, talk to your people, talk to your quest lines, and then go ahead and jump right back into the open world or the open section you're in within LA and kill zombies in any way you see fit. The zombies constantly popping out of vents and sewage drains keeps the pace of the game going and keeps you constantly killing zombies, which is the main thing why you're there. You're not there to really look at the storyline. You're there to kill these powerful or even weak zombies and let out a bit of fun while you're at it. And this is why I'm going to rate the pace of the game a 9 out of 10. There's not much I can pick wrong with the pace of the game. The only thing I wish I had a bit more of is maybe openness in regards to exploration around the sections of the map. Or maybe even making the section of the map a lot bigger. But maybe the concept of the game has other ideas which I'll come on to right now. Coming on to point number three, which is the concept of the game. Don't worry, I'm not going to spoil any of the story in here. I'm just going to talk about the general concept of Dead Island 2. So the general concept of Dead Island 2 is a zombie killing game. I think it's more of an arcade zombie killing game. It's basically like, how many zombies can you kill? How many different ways can you kill a zombie? That is kind of the concept of the game. The main thing is to drive the fantasy of being in a zombie apocalyptic world and just endlessly trying to survive and killing zombies left, right and centre. And with the combination of customization of weapons, upgrades, skills, drop kicks and etc. with meeting a variety of people in the story as well as within the map, definitely adds to the immersiveness of the game. So the general concept of the game is just a arcade killing zombie game which I mostly enjoy. 
And this is why I'm going to give the concept of the game a 9 out of 10. So there's not much other faults I can pick with the concept of the game. The only kind of gripe I have is there is certain things in the game which is the audio. I don't know if it's because I have streamer mode turned on because the copyright music is cut out. But when I'm in certain circumstances like maybe a boss fight or an apex variant boss fight or whatever within the game there's not much dramatic music going on it's kind of me just running around an empty room with it being relatively silent with a couple of ambience music in the background trying to fight this massive overpowered zombie and i wanted to feel a bit more immersed but apart from that very very minor area as a general killing concept zombie game it definitely ticks all the boxes and that's why it's a 9 out of 10 for me welcome to the conclusion of dead island 2 I'm going to rate this game an 8 out of 10 because I feel that every zombie gaming fan should at least play Dead Island 2 once. Give it a try, try out the different features and see if you like it. But I do feel like there is something missing within this game. I don't know if it's an open map, I don't know if it's something else, but I feel like this game was kind of made as a tester for the new kind of zombie killing engine, which makes their like limbs come off and etc. So I feel like there's something bigger on the horizon than Dead Island 2. But should you still buy this game and play it? Yes, I do recommend it. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little short video and I hope you're going to buy Dead Island 2 and enjoy it for yourselves. See you in the next video. Peace out.